Today, we will talk about An exponential moving average is a type of moving average, MA, that places a greater weight and significance on the most recent data points. The exponential moving average is also referred to as the exponentially weighted moving average. An exponentially weighted moving average reacts more significantly to recent price changes than a simple moving average, SMA, which applies an equal weight to all observations in the period. The formula for calculating the EMA takes into account the value of the most recent time period, a smoothing factor, and the number of days in the period. The smoothing factor gives the most recent observation more weight, and if increased, more recent observations have more influence on the EMA. Calculating the EMA requires one more observation than the SMA. It involves obtaining the sum of the stock's closing prices during a time period, dividing by the number of observations for that period, and then determining the multiplier for smoothing. The EMA gives a higher weight to recent prices, while the SMA assigns equal weight to all values. The 12 and 26 day EMAs are often used to create indicators like the moving average convergence divergence and the percentage price oscillator, PPO. Additionally, the 50 and 200 day EMAs are used as indicators for long term trends. The EMA indicator line shows the trend of the market and can be used to derive trading entry signals in trending markets. EMAs are commonly used in conjunction with other indicators to confirm significant market moves and to gauge their validity. For traders who trade intraday in fast moving markets, the EMA is more applicable as it helps determine a trading bias and strategy. The EMA gives higher weights to recent prices, while the SMA assigns equal weights to all values. The two averages are similar because they are interpreted in the same manner and are both commonly used by technical traders to smooth out price fluctuations. However, EMAs are more responsive to the latest price changes than SMAs. It is unclear whether more emphasis should be placed on the most recent days in the time period, and the EMA relies wholly on historical data. Additionally, it is uncertain whether using historical data tells us anything about the future direction of asset prices. The longer day EMAs tend to be used more by long term investors, while short term investors tend to use 8 and 20 day EMAs. Traders often use several different EMA lengths such as 10-day, 50-day, and 200-day moving averages. The EMA focuses more on recent price moves and responds more quickly to price changes than the SMA, making it preferred by many traders. A rising EMA is seen as a support to price action, while a falling EMA is seen as a resistance. Investors look to buy when the price is near the rising EMA and sell when the price is near the falling EMA. Here are three key takeaways. 1. The EMA is a moving average that places a greater weight and significance on the most recent data points. 2. Like all moving averages, this technical indicator is used to produce buy and sell signals based on crossovers and divergences from the historical average. 3. Traders often use several different EMA lengths, such as 10-day, 50-day, and 200-day moving averages. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.